going on a tour of Gujarat, has been released from detention. Remember, he was detained for a while. All right. Arvind Kejriwal, of course, uh, on a tour of Modi land, Gujarat, where he wants to campaign as he is fielding candidates from that state as well. Arvind Kejriwal was detained because their big roadshow planned in North Gujarat, it turns out, as the police alleged, was illegal. They didn't have the permission for it. The details are still pouring in, but he was held for a while, and now he's been released uh, from that brief detention. Those visuals of Arvind Kejriwal, slightly shaky because of the commotion there in North Gujarat, the jadu flying high in Modi land. Now he was detained for a brief period, where they seem to have uh, worked out modalities to release them to release Arvind Kejriwal so fast. These 25 teams are made, which are going to districts. And for three days, we will go to Gujarat, some villages, Gujarat, some cities, and some cities. And on Shaniwar, whatever our findings will be, we will go to the people. अब कोई कारण नहीं बताया गया जहां तक मेरी जानकारी है कि क्यों उनको डिटेन किया गया है ये सब ये दिखाता है ये तो स्टडी टूर के लिए गए थे देखने के लिए कि भाई गुजरात का जो डेवलपमेंट मॉडल जिनकी मोदी बात करते हैं इसकी सच्चाई क्या है क्या डेवलपमेंट हुआ है वहां आम आदमी का क्या हुआ है और वो भी नहीं अगर उनको देखने दिया जा रहा तो सवाल देश के सामने ये खड़ा होता है कि क्या गुजरात हिंदुस्तान का हिस्सा है या गुजरात का कोई दूसरा संविधान बना है क्या गुजरात में लोगों के मौलिक अधिकार हैं कि नहीं बोलने के जाने के वहां देखने के कि वहां क्या रियलिटी है या कोई गुजरात कोई फांसीवादी राज्य बन चुका है प्रशांत भूषण देर एक्सप्लेनिंग वट हैपन हरेश झाला ज्वाइन दिस लाइफ फॉर मोर ऑन दिस हरेश he was detained for a very brief period. Uh, the Gujarat police saying his roadshow was illegal. Prashant Bhushan giving it a different spin. Now he's been released. What is his plan of action now? Will he continue on his sort of padyatra through Gujarat, the study tour? But well, first of all, there are lots of counterclaims are coming from this whole incident. See, basically he was stopped outside Radhanpur by the district administration. District administration claims that he was stopped to inform him that the model code of conduct is in place. Now he cannot go on with such a huge convoy. Now, on the other hand, uh, Arvind Kejriwal claims that he is not going for any public meeting or a political function, nor in the is in place now he cannot go on with such a huge convoy now on the other hand uh, arvind kejriwal claims that he is not going for any public meeting or a political function nor is going to uh, appeal for the vote in that regard he has right to go with how many uh, big convoy it may be so the question here is whether the model code of conduct if it is in place at all does it mean that it has Anyone who Harish, is hold on, from we are, the we're getting the DSP I, of that district. I'll come back to you. The DSP of Patan district there, Parijikshita, Parijikshita Rathod has joined us here on NewsX to explain why he was de detained in the first place. Parijikshita, tell us what really happened. Why was he detained, and uh, what is the situation now? Uh, actually, I want to clarify that he was not detained. Actually, unko jab unke saath jada gadiya thi. तो वो गाड़ियाँ के बारे में क्लेरिफाई करना था क्योंकि दुपहर में एमसीसी लगा हुआ था तो इसकी वजह से क्लेरिफाई करने से लिए हम उनकी पूछताछ की थी उनको डिटेन नहीं किया गया था अच्छा परीक्षित ये बताइए कि आप कह रही हैं डिटेन नहीं किया गया था तो पॉइंट ये था कि कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट बताने के लिए रोका था और उनको बता के छोड़ दिया हाँ बता के छोड़ दिया all right, so it wasn't that the Gujarat police was saying his roadshow was illegal. It was just that he was being informed about the code of conduct, which is in, in fact, uh, effect today, uh, as the election commission uh, announced. Otherwise, Parikshita, ye bataiye ki BJP aur jo apki government pahape hai Gujarat mein, wo ye deny kar rahi hai ki political pressure dalne ke liye kiya tha. Kya aap ye clarify kar sakti hai? Koi political pressure nahi hai? Karat baat hai, jab MCC lagu ho gaya hai, तो इसमें कोई भी पॉलिटिकल पार्टी नहीं आती है फिर एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव ग्राउंड पे हम जो भी डिसीजन लेना है हमें और डीएम साहब को लेना है इसमें अभी जब एमसीसी लागू हो गया तो कोई पॉलिटिकल पार्टी इंटरफियरेंस नहीं कर सकती 
एनसीसी के हिसाब से ही हमने ये सब प्योरीफाई करने के लिए उनको बुलाया था और जब प्योरीफाई हो गया तो हम उनको उन्होंने हमने उनको छोड़ दिया ओके okay, परिषद तो इसका मतलब यह है कि अरविंद केजरीवाल ने अब आप, आपकी बात समझ के अपना कॉन्वॉय छोटा कर दिया है और इलेक्शन रैली वगैरह में नहीं जाएंगे वो निकल गए ओके ऑल राइट सो परिषद राठौर देर डीएसपी पाटन ऑफ कोर्स एक्सप्लेनिंग व्हाट सीम्स टू बी एन एक्शन ओनली बिकॉज दे वॉन्टेड टू इन्फॉर्म अरविंद केजरीवाल दैट द कोर ऑफ कॉन्डक्ट इज इन इफेक्ट फ्रॉम टूडे ही ऑफ कोर्स वॉज ट्रेवलिंग Uh, and they didn't know Harish Jala still with us on, uh, in fact, live with us from Gujarat. Harish, so oh, that was the DSP part in explaining. He was just what you just told us, just uh, repeating that. Now, Modi land, uh, Arvind Kejriwal's uh, study tour. It's expected that Arvind Kejriwal, of course, might not dislodge Modi because it's too strong a Modi citadel there. But he's ex ex expected to create some problems for the BJP government there come the elections. claim that he has he is in gujarat to dislodge him what he is saying that i want to study the gujarat model whether really this is a developed state whether the people of gujarat have prosperous with the growth rate or not people of gujarat are getting the basic amenities as the state government is claiming and marketing across india now the question here is what was the feedback on the ground and the first very meeting the villagers have complained that without bribe their works are not been done in the government departments they are not having basic amenities like schools or primary health centers in a small village so this is what the feedback he wanted this is what is trying to gather from the ground zero his 25 team has spread across gujarat and the basis of that they will prepare a report that pre uh, report will be released on 8th of uh, march and then on the basis of that report they will campaign against bjp as well as congress as like they did it in dalhi and say that these two parties cannot deliver aap is an option now it's up to you up to the voters to avail the option or not all right harish many thanks for clarifying that harish jara from gujarat we move on to some breaking news coming in on the election commission front